Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Actually, my friends told me to say that. Um, it's not my usual greeting, but I'll create my own welcome greeting soon for every one of you who's watching my channel. As you can see, today is the day that I finally decided to create my first dress. It's so, so exciting. I don't know what will happen, but let's go and do it today. I bought this fabric all the way from the Philippines because I was really planning on making a dress here. This is a cotton fabric and it's 3 yards long. I don't usually make or sew clothes, but this is really something that I've been wanting to make and I hope that it will turn out great, right? I want to thank Chess Dang for her YouTube tutorial on this sheer dress that I'll be making today. After cutting my pieces of fabric, I'm now doing a zigzag stitch on the edges of my fabric so that it won't fray. It would have been great if I had a serger but I don't have one so let's just enjoy this process of finishing the hem with a zigzag stitch. So now here are my pieces of fabric that I cut the bottom part and also the top part of my sheer dress. Before we move on to the next step, please say hello first to all the mess that I have on my table right now. And of course all my BTS photo cards at the back. Say hi! Hello, I miss them. What I'm doing now is actually putting the elastic thread on the bobbin so that I can actually create the sheared top of my dress. This is the bobbin and you actually have to manually roll it in the bobbin instead of using the sewing machine so that it won't stretch out. This is my first time actually doing this and it's quite exciting to learn some new stuff in sewing that I haven't done before. It's also my first time shearing a fabric, so I don't know how it will turn out, but I hope it will turn out really nice. So let's go and shear this fabric. So this is the first line of shearing that I've made on the fabric, and you don't see the effect yet for now. But as we go along and repeat the same process multiple times, you will see that the fabric has now gathered up more, and you can see the effect now on the dress. Here are the pieces of my dress. This is the bottom part and this is the top part of the dress after I finish shearing all of the fabric. Now it's time to connect the upper part and bottom part of the dress. And here it is now. It's actually looking like a dress. Oh my god, I'm so happy to see that it's taking a form of a real dress. It looks legit, right? For the lower bottom of the dress, I had to do a basting stitch on the fabric so that I can pull it out and create a ruffled effect on the skirt. This is also my first time doing a basting stitch, doing a ruffled skirt, so it's quite exciting and new. And thanks for joining me! So now I'll be joining together the lower bottom of the skirt and the upper portion of the dress so that it will create this whole finished dress. Yay! It's turning out really nice and it's looking like a real dress now. The next step is just to finish and do the strap so that the whole dress will be completed. We now have to create 4 straps for the dress. This is 80 by 40 centimeters long and we will attach them on the 4 sides of the dress so that we can tie them together and actually wear the dress. One of my favorite, favorite things in sewing is cutting the fabric. I just love hearing the sound of the scissors cutting through the fabric. It just gives me so much joy and pleasure. I don't know why, but it does. Now, we're sewing the straps and I'm pinning together the sides of the straps so that it would be easy for me to stitch them. The next morning, I came back to sewing and making the dress. So now I'm fast forwarding this video because it took me a long time to turn over the straps of the dress. Now we're going to pin the straps in the dress and sew them in. So 
So here's the finished product of my dress and I love it. I'm so happy with it. I think it turned out really nice and pretty. Thank you so much for being with me as I make my first dress. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. I'll see you again soon.